I said I wanted to be an astronaut from the time I was five. It was like when a five-year-old says they want to be a princess or a firefighter or something like that. One day my mom said to me, are you serious about this? And I was like, yes. And she says, okay, well then you need to figure out what it is you have to do and you're gonna to have to start working now. And ever since then, I've been working my hardest towards it. You're always preparing for what your future is going to be. You can choose whether or not you're going to work hard in your classes. You can choose whether or not you're going to spend the extra time it takes to really learn the material. Or you can choose to do other things, and that's okay if you choose to do other things. But you have to know that that's always going towards something. I think in the Minneapolis Public School District, something I've really learned and been helped with um, has been realizing these choices and realizing good behaviors. I'm a calculated risk taker. I want to be the first astronaut to Mars. Going to space is a big risk, but I'm willing to take that risk because I know all the factors that are involved and I know how important it is to me. I think STEM is very important for everyone to be involved in. When I was a kid, science and technology wasn't really something they thought you put a five-year-old kid into. But as I got older, it definitely influenced how much I believed that this was something I could really do. There's a lot of different programs, both throughout elementary, middle, and high school, that you can do that are involved with STEM. Some of the ones that I've personally been involved in are Guys and Gems, an after-school program where girls do robotics and rockets and all sorts of things. There's also things like Reach for the Stars, a program where it takes students from all throughout Minneapolis and sends them to space camp. You work hard to get there and you learn a lot along the way. This is a patch that I got. It's for STS-134 Endeavor, and that's the one shuttle launch that I saw. So that was a big deal to me because it represents a great part of America's space history that I was honored and grateful to have been a part of. This one's really important to me. I was actually visiting an Air Force base, and I met one of the squadron commanders. And when I told him about what my dream was, he pulled this off of his own flight suit that he was wearing and he gave it to me and asked me to put it on mine. And so that was a really big deal to me for someone to have reached out and to have made that kind of a gesture made a big difference. I think the biggest thing is that it's different for everyone and that you should just work your hardest and take opportunities when they arise. If you have an opportunity and you think you're capable or you think you'll be challenged, you should definitely do that. Find something that you love and work hard at it because even if you have this massive goal like I do, I, I don't know if I'll end up there, but I'm going to work my hardest at it and by, by doing that I know that I'll end up somewhere I'm meant to be and somewhere that I'll be happy with in life. I think that during a mission, especially one that's as long duration as a Mars mission would be, the thing that I think that I'll think about the most is all the hard work, all the times that I wished for this, all the times that I made decisions that led towards this. I think I'll look back and I'll see those sacrifices finally coming up and really be happy. You can follow Astronaut Abby on her journey to Mars. To learn more, visit astronautabby.com.